Hey guys, this is Jody and Olaf from Dog Blessed, and we have a quick how-to for an interactive dog toy or two. This is a PVC pipe. Very nice displaying there, Olaf. And you can cut the ends with a hacksaw or a pipe cutter or pretty much any kind of saw and then is this what you're showing them Olaf <coughs> yes we have a half inch drill bit this will make about the perfect size holes to drill out to make a very nice interactive dog toy to put little pieces of kibble or treats inside Interactive dog toys are awesome to keep dogs busy, puppies out of mischief. You could feed a whole meal out of this. You want to sand these holes really lightly when you're done just to get any sharp edges off. And these are very, very sturdy. And dogs love them very much. As you can see, Olaf's just displaying how awesome it is. We would love if you made some of these to donate to Muskegon Humane locally or Best Pals Animal Rescue Center in Holland. I would be happy to donate, I mean, excuse me, to deliver to either one of them for you or to your local rescue. I'm sure they would love to have these in the shelter, especially right now the dogs aren't getting a lot of extra exercise. So if you have extra supplies or extra time, Olaf and I would love if you'd make that and donate them to them. Also, with PVC, you can make one of these, which is a board, just any old board, with a whole saw. You can put in here and Put a PVC with a cap on the end into the hole. You also can drill a hole in the PVC with that size of a dowel that will fit the hole that you drilled. Kitty says, I would like to get in on this video, please, and thank you. <laughs> anyway. Then we have a hole in a pot bottle here that you can also put kibble into or put even holes on either side of your PVC. Make it a little bit higher. Spin that around on the inside of the dowel also. So there's many options with these. Sometimes the pot bottles can be a little too flimsy for really, really strong chewers where we recommend the PVC. There are different styles of these you can find to make online. But they would love these at shelters too, and your dog or your puppy would love them also. So on behalf of myself, Olaf Raven, and everyone at Dog Blessed, Paula and her team of Pepper, Kylie, and Eli, we want to... to invite you to keep posted because we will have more how to's coming soon and we also invite you to look back at our past ones to have things for shelter dogs and kitties we have other how to's or for your own dogs if you have any questions please pm us at dog blessed llc on facebook or you can email us at dog blessed llc at gmail.com we'd be happy to answer any questions about any of these how to's or how to get these to the local shelter you can contact us and we would be happy to help you deliver them have a great night hope to see you soon Olaf forgot to mention that at the ends of each of these pipes we have the caps okay this will keep the treats in instead of keeping the pipe open. You know, Olaf, he just, just doesn't remember to mention these things. Okay, just wanted to add that on.